Hi, all you jigsaw puzzle fanatics out there. It's Shannon, and welcome back to the Persnickety Puzzler. Today, I am going to be taking you through my September 2023 jigsaw puzzle haul. Now, some of you may remember that after the August 2023 puzzle haul, I swore up and down that I would be drastically reducing the size of my puzzle hauls because things had gotten a little out of hand. Well, I meant the words when I said them, but then I found the Rose Willie website on the internet and my resolve went right out the window because Rose Willie had the best selection of jigsaw puzzle brands I have ever seen. And they had brands that you couldn't get in the US. And on top of everything, they had the best prices that you could get. And the owner is wonderful. So I lost my head and my resolve went right out the door. Now, when the puzzles arrived, it was like Christmas in September. They were very well packaged. Everything was protected. Unlike other jigsaw puzzle warehouses, shall I say, that don't really care about the packaging so much. Anyway, I was over the moon. So when I go through these puzzles today, I'm going to be honest, about 50% of them came from Rose Willie. The others came from Puzzledly, which is another place that I shop at a lot, and Amazon, and maybe even, I think, some from Puzzle Warehouse. So let's get started. All right, so the very first puzzle I'm gonna show you, I purchased on Etsy from a company called Adeptus Designs, and this is a 144 piece acrylic puzzle okay so i don't know if you can see these pieces but they are clear acrylic pieces and the idea is that i'm going to actually try to do a video of me putting this together <laughs> well we'll we'll see about that won't we anyway um uh the <laughs> It doesn't come with this sort of damage. One of my cats got to the uh, drawstring bag here and, um, you know, had some fun, but none of the pieces were damaged. So I thought I'd give this one a try and we'll see how this one goes, won't we? Okay, next. All right, the very next puzzle brand is the pin to puzzle brand which some of my viewers have asked me to review and i haven't done any pin to puzzles um mostly because i mean i have looked at them but their art style is not really my art style but i was able to find a couple of puzzles on amazon that i would give a try to and this first one this one is called mystical castle and it's colorful, cartoony, and you should all know by now that I love colorful and I sure love cartoons. So this is a thousand pieces. Um, you know, their puzzles aren't, aren't all that cheap either. This was $26. And I gotta tell you, their boxes kinda suck. They're just, squishy and not very impressive at all which i find interesting because on the back it says a jigsaw worthy of display but their boxes i sure don't want to display these boxes okay so anyway this is the first pin to again it's a thousand pieces it's called mystical castle all right and then this next one this one is called Maniki Nico's Shop. It's 1,200 pieces. It was $29.99. So, you know, I hope I like this. I really do because, I, as I said it just a few seconds ago, the boxes stink. Anyway, here we go. That's the second puzzle. All right. These next six puzzles are from a brand I just recently reviewed and loved, and that is the Happily Jigsaw Puzzle brand. 
This first one is called Hot Stuff. It's 1,000 pieces. Um, I just love that artwork. Super colorful. Just wonderful. So I got that one. And when I did the review of this brand, I raved about this brand. I believe I gave it a 9 out of 10 paws. So I, I just really love the brand. I wish they had more puzzles. This next one is called Stationery. A thousand pieces. I had a blast putting it together. This other, this next one is called In the In the 90s, collage style. Love this artwork. Love this artist. And uh, this is also a thousand pieces. Another one. This one is called Beer. It's a thousand pieces collage style. Doesn't take very too long to do those. All of their puzzles are really collage style, which is loads of fun. This one is called Beats. A thousand pieces. This one went very quickly. Um, and this last one, I love this image. This one is called Wanderlust. It's basically a bunch of posters of different countries. Really cool. Loved it. Going to be keeping that one. Now these next four puzzles are from a brand called Micro Puzzles. Okay? Which means they come in these little tubes. Okay? They come in these tiny little tubes. I hope that's in focus. Um, there are 150 pieces. And what I'd like to do is do a review of the, the tubular puzzle brands because there's several different brands out there like Jiggy, uh, Workshop, um, and Micro Puzzles. And so I picked these up in order to do that. This first one is called Dogs. It's, you know, I'll, I'll include pictures of these in the actual video. This second one is called Fish Doodle. Fish doodle. Okay. Uh, this third one is called Gone Fishing. And this last one is called Puzzle Pow. Alrighty. So I got those four in order to do that review. Okay. Now this, these next three are from a brand called Fun Club. And uh, if you've got a problem with nudity or anything like that, you, you might not want to watch this part of the, of the, of the haul. But anyway, um, I, I just love the colors and the style, and, and they just look like a ton of fun. This first one is called Bunches of Butts. It's 500 pieces. And I did this very quickly. And it was lots of fun. This next one <laughs> is called Tons of Titties. All right. 500 pieces. A blast. And this last one is Vaginas. All right. 500 pieces. You want to do something really fast and feel like you're really good at puzzling. These three puzzles are definitely the ones you should get. I purchased them on Puzzled Link. Okay. Next, this puzzle I purchased, I believe I got it on Amazon. This is from the Oh My Puzzle brand. That's O-M-Y. They're a French brand. Uh, their puzzles can be found on Amazon and on Puzzledly. And um, I recently discovered that they are no longer manufacturing puzzles. So I, I think I didn't have maybe, maybe this puzzle, probably this one. So I jumped on um, Amazon and grabbed it. They've only got four 1,000 piece puzzles, but I'm a big fan of their artwork. So I've got all four. All right. 
This next one is also from Puzzledly. It is from the brand Travel. This is a French brand. Um, this particular puzzle is called Fruity Jungle. And I was really drawn to the image. I've already put this one together. And I really think the quality is outstanding. And all the pieces come in a cloth bag. Um, very impressed with this brand. I have one other puzzle by them that I'm going to be putting together as well, but I was really happy with that. All right, these next three puzzles are from Cloudberries, and I'm sure quite a few of you have Cloudberries puzzles or at least have heard of them. This first one is called Flora. It's a thousand pieces. And it is part of their brand new random cut range. And these are apparently limited edition puzzles. And so I love random cut and I jumped on these and grabbed them. So that's Flora. This next one is also random cut, a thousand pieces. It is called Cranes. Love the image. And this last one is called Kitchen. And I've already put this one together and just had a ball with it. The quality of their puzzles and the boxes is just simply outstanding. Love this brand. All right. This next one um, I mentioned in my last video, I believe. Um, and I've already put it together, but I purchased it in September, so that's why it's part of this video. This is called Chocolate Overload, and this is a workman puzzle featuring the artist Sandra Boynton. And I mean, anybody who loves chocolate will love this puzzle. I just had a blast putting it together. Okay, now, <laughs> all right, the next. I don't know how many puzzles, a lot of puzzles, are all puzzles that I purchased on the Rose Willie website because um, they carried Magnolia and Yaz puzzles. And I lost my mind once I saw some of these Magnolia puzzles and I purchased a lot of them. All right, so this first one is called Jungle Oasis. Um, the artist is Sassy Ray. This is a thousand pieces. I thought the, the imagery was really something. I loved it. So I put it in my cart. Okay. This next one is called Never Ending Story. All right. The artist is Megan Duncanson. And I was so drawn to those bright colors and the imagery. I just loved it. Okay. All right, this next one, this one is called Rainbow Safari. Um, the artist's name is Magali Modu. Gosh, I hope I'm not mangling her name. This is a thousand pieces. Uh, I was really drawn to the colors, the imagery, but I can already tell by looking at it, it is not going to be an easy puzzle to put together, but I welcome the challenge. All right. Next is a puzzle called The Puzzler's Mermaid. The artist, oh my goodness, the artist's name, I'm not even going to try. You'll just have to look it up. Anyway, I was really drawn to the, the image. I thought it was really cool. So I got it. Okay. More, more magnolias. Lots of magnolias. This next one is called uh, The Tale of a Tree. You've seen this one if you watched my magnolia puzzle review because this was one of the puzzles that I put together. The artist's name is Nihal Sifter. 
absolutely love this woman's artwork. Couldn't wait to put it in my cart, and it was a fun puzzle to do. Next, we have Lydia, the tattooed lady. Um, I just was really drawn to the image. I do think this one's going to be a little challenging, though. All right. Okay, next we have a puzzle called Tea Time with Alice. This is a thousand pieces. The artist's name is Romy Lerda. And I discovered Romy Lerda on the Magnolia puzzle when I was looking at the Magnolia puzzles. And I put a truckload of her puzzles in my cart because I love her style of artwork. I just love this. Okay, so there are going to be a bunch of Romy Lerdas in this stack. This next one is called Frida. Love the colors. Love the image. Okay. This next one is called Magic Treehouse. I love this art. I'm actually unsure of who the artist is on this because it really doesn't say on the outside of the box. But I love this image. Uh, this next one is called Library City. And I used to work at the library, so I purchased this puzzle, you know, solidarity and all. But I was really drawn to the colors. Okay. Another Romy Lerda. This one is called Katrina. Look at that. Look at that art. I just... And, this, and the colors, oh my goodness. Okay. This next one is called Bottle Rocket Diner. I just love the image. Really fun. Different, but cool. Okay. Another Romy Lerda. This is called The Beautiful Pirate. Oh, love, love, love. Okay, more, more puzzles. They just keep coming. Another Romy Lerda that if you watched my Magnolia review, this is the puzzle that I featured in the time lapse. This is called Me and Mom, and I loved it. It was challenging, no, no doubt about it. The, the black parts of this dress were a real challenge. I still had fun. Okay. Next, Romy Lerda is the Brown Beauty. Oh, loved it. Another Romy Lerda. Sorry, I know these are a lot of Romy Lerdas. This is called Lady with Fish. It's a thousand pieces of wonderfulness. Loved it. This. This puzzle, another Romy Lerda, this one's called Harley. Uh, it was one of the three puzzles that I assembled for the Magnolia Review, and I absolutely adored this one. Okay. Another Romy Lerda. This one is called Alice. Oh, goodness, I cannot wait to put this together. Just loved it. Okay. And the last magnolia. This is called House on the Tree. Love this artwork. Just fabulous. Okay. All right. These next, these next six puzzles are also puzzles that I purchased on the Rose Willie website because they carried the Yaz Puzzle Brand. And it is one of my favorite puzzle brands of the year. And Yaz is owned by Magnolia. So the quality is simply outstanding. And this puzzle was one of the puzzles that I assembled for my uh, Yaz review. All right, this is called Flowers. Look at that. Look at the colors in that puzzle. Gorgeous. All right, 
This next puzzle is called Bikeable. And I was really drawn to the image and the colors in this, in this puzzle. Um, it's a little different for me to put a puzzle with this kind of imagery, imagery together, but I'm looking forward to it. Oh, this next one. This is called Maniki Kokishi. Oh, goodness. I absolutely loved it. It was so much fun. I'm keeping it. I'm keeping, <laughs> I'm keeping pretty much all the Yaz puzzles. Yeah, I think all the Yaz puzzles I assembled. This one is called Katin Katinsky, a play on Kandinsky, because this is definitely the art style of Kandinsky. I love this one. Keeping, keeping that one. This next one is called Cinderella. Absolutely loved it. Just fantastic quality. The boxes are wonderful. Oh, just loved it. This next one is called Geometric Mosaic. Again, I loved it. I put it together. I put almost I put all the Yaz puzzles together, save one, but it won't be long now. I'll be doing that one soon. All right, more puzzles. Okay. This next puzzle is by the brand King, which I have no uh, familiarity with. I've never done these, their puzzles. And this is from their comic collection. This is called Times Square. It's a thousand pieces. I love cartoon puzzles. And so I'm always on board to give brands featuring cartoon puzzles a try. The boxes feel, mm, they don't feel terribly sturdy. So we'll see. But anyway, I love the image. This next one is called Venice. Loved that image. Loved it. Very busy, but it's cartoon style. So I'm pretty sure I'll enjoy it. Okay. Next brand that a lot of you are familiar with that I purchased on Amazon, I believe. This is a Jackaroo puzzle. It's a thousand pieces and it's called This Is Not a Picasso. All right. Um, anyway, uh, I just was really drawn to the colors and the image. We're moving along here. This next puzzle is a Haya puzzle that I've been looking for for some time. It's called Dead Moon. I mean, I think that artwork is stunning. It's gorgeous. I'm not even sure if this puzzle is still in print, but I found it on the internet and I got it. The artist's name is Luis Royo, but oh gosh, oh, gorgeous. All right, these next two are Cloudberry's puzzles. This first one is called Rooster. It's a thousand pieces. I think Cloudberry's is a quality brand. They do fantastic boxes. Love them. This second puzzle is called Dreamscape. A thousand pieces. Gorgeous image. We're getting slowly down to the bottom. This next one is called Campers. Uh, it is by the brand Cobble Hill. And the artist's name is Diane Dempsey. And I love her retro style of artwork. She actually has several Christmas puzzles in this kind of style, very retro, and uh, I'm slowly acquiring them. So I got this one. I'll be putting it together during the month of December. Can't wait. Okay, these next four are by a company that I have not actually assembled one of their puzzles yet, but I am really excited to put them together because I've heard fabulous things. The company is Art and Fable. This first 
puzzle, oh goodness, is called Big Travel. I really love this image. These four puzzles that I'm showing you here are have just been released. All right. This next one is called The Tamer. The artist's name is Olga Suvarova. She is an incredible artist. She has uh, several puzzles on pomegranate as well. And I'm acquiring those because I think she is incredibly gifted. All right. Oh, goodness. I hope these don't fall over. This next one is called The Tale of Wag Hoba. Wow. The artist's name is Nathan Miller, and I think this image is stunning. Oh, gorgeous. All right, and then this last one is called Peace by Ron Cheriskin. And I can't wait to put it together. All right. These last several puzzles were almost done. This puzzle is by the brand Jayco. It is a thousand pieces. It is called Fashion Show. And I got it on Puzzle Warehouse because it it I can't find it anywhere else. It has apparently been on Amazon, but as soon as it's restocked, they're gone. And so when I saw it on Puzzle Warehouse, I immediately purchased it because I absolutely love this style of artwork. The artist's name is Victoria Semikina. But oh my goodness, cannot wait to put that together because I really like that brand a lot. All right, this next brand is, oh gosh, what is it? What's the name of this? Oh, I'm sorry, it's, by, it's called Willow Creek. And this puzzle is called Mushrooms. And I purchased these two puzzles on the Puzzledly website. I thought I would give this brand a try, have never done them before. So this is also a Willow Creek puzzle. It is called Be Positive. <laughs> um, just fun, lovely colors. Can't wait to do it. This next puzzle, uh, I, I, I'm trying to remember where I got it. I think I got it on Amazon and it is supposedly the world's smallest 1000 piece jigsaw puzzle, but there are so many puzzles that say that they are the world's smallest 1000 piece puzzle, but I would like to do this one and actually film it. Um, so I, I picked it up. We'll see. Okay. These last two puzzles are by a company called Playful Pastimes. This first puzzle is called Attic Hideaway. It's 500 pieces. And I was really drawn to this artwork because I love retro style. I love it. So I grabbed this one. And then I also picked up uh, the, oh, a 1,000 piece puzzle from Playful Pastimes. This one is called Out for a Ride. It just looked like a fun, happy puzzle. So I grabbed it. The artist's name is Rebecca Ivickson. All right. And then this very last thing I want to show you is a water bottle that I also picked up on Playful Pastimes. Now, it was $31, but I had a 15% off coupon that I found somewhere online. So that took about $4.50 off. Um, but I think this is just super cool. Had to get it. Had to get it. So that's it. That's the haul. And yeah, it was a huge haul. 
And now I'm going to say it again. Going forward, my puzzle hauls are going to be way smaller, way, way, way smaller. So I said it here. I'm going to hold myself to it. Anyway, if you've got any comments about any of these puzzles or you know stuff about the brands or you've put the puzzles together and you know something that I don't know, let me know in the comments below. I would really appreciate it. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you next time.